hi everyone welcome back to another diy tutorial in today's video we are going to be cutting and sewing this notch color blouse i made a, a tutorial on it on my previous video how i show you how to drop the pattern but if you haven't seen the tutorial don't worry you can click on the link on the description box the link is there or on the comment section the link is there okay go and watch the video get your pattern ready then you come back to this very one for the cutting and sewing okay so um the few things you need to know about this uh, recreating this blouse the fabric i use and the how many yard i use okay i use um one yard of fabric okay and the fabric i use is crepe so you can use any fabric of your choice any fabric you, you feel like is going to give you the style the style is going to come out correctly use it okay so uh yes that is all you need to know about this and also you're going to need a button because if you look at it it has a button okay so you're going to need a button to fix in your shirt so if you're new to my channel you are welcome and if you're my returning subscriber you are also welcome if you have been on my channel for a long time and you're yet to subscribe please subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you will get notified when i will be dropping another tutorial okay so with that being said we're going to go into the tutorial right away all right so let's get starting on the table i have the fabric here this is the fabric i'm going to use like i said earlier this is um crepe okay i'm using crepe and this is one yard so if you're my size then you can use one yard but if you're bigger than me in the bigger size i will advise you to get one and a half yard or two yard okay so yeah uh, this aside and so right here is my pattern if you haven't seen the pattern like i said the link is on the description box or check out on the comment section okay so this is my front pattern and this is my color and uh, so what i'm going to do now i'm going to start by cutting it so step two we are going to be cutting our pieces okay so i've already gone ahead to arrange my pieces you have to be cut on fold okay like you have to fold your fabric into two so that you can have the two front pieces together okay and remember to add your joining allowance all right so from the lower part i'm going to be adding and uh, on from the side also uh, 0 0.5 inch and from the neckline 0 0.5 inch okay so you're going to place a heavy object if the pattern or oh, yes is moving around too yet yeah. so i'm going to start now by cutting out my pieces so that we can now uh, move on to the next step okay add 0 0.5 inch sewing allowance on the neckline just the way you see me doing okay and from the shoulder line also 0 0.5 inch from the armhole line also 0 0.5 inch okay i've already added my joining allowance on the side so from the center front here where my lapel is is i'm adding 0 0.5 inch allowance so please just pay close attention to see how i'm cutting out my pieces okay so now that i'm done cutting out the front so the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out the back okay next is we're going to cut out the back so i've also gonna have to cut out the pieces that accommodate the the width of my back and i'm going to also start cutting by adding 0 0.5 inch allowance from the neckline and also the shoulder and also from the armhole line and then 1.5 inches for the hemming allowance so now that i've done cut out my back pattern so the next thing we're going to do let me open it so that you can see how it's looking like okay the back cut on fold okay so the next thing i'm going to do here is to arrange my front pieces so that i can cut out my uh facing okay the the blouse doesn't have a lining okay the only uh, lining that you need is only on the front because of the lape okay so i'm going to be cutting out facing and i will trace out just the way you see me okay i fold it this pieces is on four so i'm going to be placing the front piece here like this and trace it out hey. 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 
so now that i've done trace out here okay so uh, this part here, okay so the only thing that i'm going to do uh explain to you here i'm going to take out my front piece first okay so the width uh you're going to be cutting out from the lower part is your your boss pan measurement divided by two and then you're going to add 1.5 inches to that your boss pan measurement divided by two mine is seven inches divided by two is 3.5 and then i add 1.5 inches to it so that is what i got and then i cut it out just like that okay so the next step is to cut out the color that is step three so you're going to get your color and uh, remember that this part has to be cut on fold that is why you see that i place my fabric on fold okay it has to be on fold don't forget to fold it so yeah so uh, the next thing I will just place my collar and then I'm going to cut out I'm going to be making 0 0.5 inch allowance okay cut it with a joining allowance all round at your 0 0.5 inch joining allowance all round okay so that is what I'm doing right here So now that I've cut this one, I'm going to use it to cut out the second one. So that second one is going to serve as facing, okay? So step four, we're going to be cutting out the sleeves, okay? All right, guys, so let's begin now. So we're going to start now by cutting out the sleeves. I have uh, my pieces here, it's on fold. So I intend to use it to, uh, to get my two sleeves, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it like this so that I can have the two sleeves together, okay? so the part where is on fold from the from the the side that is facing me is on fold that is the part that we're going to use as a starting point okay so the width i have here is more than enough for me to use uh to cut out my two sleeves okay so right now what i'm going to do i'm going to trim off from this part here this excess i'm going to trim that excess out so that i can be able to work with it work with the one we need okay So after arranging it, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my straight ruler and create a starting point. So uh, this part here is going to become the, the starting point for me to like my shoulder tip. Let me put it that way. So it's going to be like my shoulder tip. Okay. So after connecting the straight line and the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start taking my cap height. Okay. So from my tip, the tip of my shoulder to my cap height is five inches so i'm marking five inches here all right so i'm going to repeat the measurement twice so that i can have a straight line and afterward i'm going to connect this line so i wonder why this chalk is not showing even the father was using a blue chalk it wasn't showing so i hope you just watch carefully so that you will not get confused okay so what I'm working on here is to, I'm going to be inserting the, the length of my, uh, from my shoulder to my chest line. So that is what I'm just going to do. So from my shoulder to my chest line is eight inches. Okay. So before I will mark that eight inches, I'm going to be keeping allowance. That part, this part now that I'm marking one inch here is the part where I'm going to create uh, a channel for my strap. Okay. So the next, I'm going to connect it with a straight line. Okay, so so that I can know where I'm going to be placing my marking. Okay, so now I will now place my chest line, uh, the length of my chest line from my shoulder to my chest line, which is eight inches. Okay, so that is what I use to create the width of my sleeve at this point. Okay, and then afterward, I'm going to connect it with a straight line, just like the way you see me doing. Okay, so the next one, I'm going to find the midpoint from this slant line that I drew, so that I can create the uh, the shape of my sleeves i don't know if you understand this yet just watch carefully so i'm, I'm finding the midpoint i'm dividing it into uh, three sections okay so that i can take all the measurement or draft out my sleeves so that is what i'm doing so from the first line i'm going to be uh, taking it up by 0 
and the middle line is going to be five inch and then the lower the last line i, I mark uh 0 0.5 inch below okay and then afterward i connect it using my french curve ruler okay so if you don't understand this point uh just leave your comment below let me know i will make a detailed tutorial on how you can uh, make your sleeves okay how you can draft out your sleeves but on this one i'm just going to be very fast about it and so that we can move on to the next step okay so the first thing i need i did here after i finished with all the draft i tried to make this line both so but when i'm going to be cutting it i will you will see okay so now i'm going to be taking the my sleeve opening at this point i used the sleeve opening the sleeve opening i used it was too wide while i later reduced it while while i was making my sleeves okay so i'm trying to take the measurement to to verify if it's accurate with the one i got on my uh bodies okay so and it was equal so i was i was satisfied with this at this point too now i'm just going to connect it with like a line shape so i later changed the shape because i i later went on with a, a slim uh fit uh sleeves okay so and the length here the length you should use the length of your choice mine at the end of the day i end up having uh, 14 inches as the length of my sleeve so uh, at this point you can choose to use any length of the sleeve you want so afterward i'm going to start cutting it out and remember to add your 0 0.5 inch allowance to join your sleeve to your bodies okay so now my sleeve is ready so the next thing i'm going to do here uh yes this is my sleeve so the part where i kept allowances of one one inch okay i will go i will separate it and then i will stitch it back together to create uh, a space for my straps all right so when we get to that point i will show you i will let you know so that you can follow up but for now we're done from the sleeve so the next we're going to work on the straps okay you will need to cut four straps okay like four pieces to create your straps and uh, the length i use here is about 35 inches so this one depend on your preference how long you want your strap to pump out it will depend on how long you will get okay so now that we are done from here so the next step now step five is to join all our pieces together so i have all my pieces together now i'm going to start by arranging it okay so please pay attention if you really want to uh, learn how to make this uh, this top or shirt if you want to learn how to make it and get the result you're looking for i will advise you to pay close attention on this part okay so uh the first thing first i'm going to do i'm going to uh, start joining my facing because i'm going to start working with the front pieces first okay so this is my facing and place the right side facing the right side the wrong side has to be facing up okay so the right side now is facing the right side of my uh front pieces okay so this is the second facing so right now what you're going to do i'm going to be uh, i'm going to mark uh two inches oh uh, no i'm going to mark 2.5 inches okay just watch carefully so from the mid uh, center front i'm going to mark um a 2.5 inches inward okay i'm going to mark 2.5 inches in so that is where we're going to start by joining the the facing so this is my collar okay and the collar also remember i marked uh, 1.5 inches inward before right but right here since i added my sewing allowance i'm going to be marking two inches inward instead of 1.5 okay i'm going to mark two inches inward so uh we'll join from that two inches and the other side is going to be open so from this 2.5 inches here that is where my stitching is going to start from okay so i'm going to pin this so that uh, i can so that the line will be equal all right so i have to pin it so i'm going to start now by joining from that 2.5 inches that i mark okay from that 2.5 inches i'm going to take all the uh, take this uh, stitching 
all the way to the end of my uh, blouse that is the pieces for the front okay so i'm stitching the lining together i remember it's only the front that has a uh, lining the rest of the body doesn't it doesn't have lining okay so i have joined all my pieces together put the uh the uh, the collar okay i have joined it uh, the front piece the uh, lining together okay i stitch all the way from where i marked that 2.5 inches all the way down right so this is the second of the front pieces so now uh, here is the collar i also did the same thing i stitched it from that two inches that i marked in all the way and uh, the other side is left open okay so i'm going to notch here so this is what you need to do you need to notch all the sewing the the sewing allowance part where you notch you sew and also you trim off the excess so that when you fold in you will not have uh, some pieces pushing out or look a uh, more thicker from the front okay so once you've done here and remember to iron interfacing sorry i forgot to mention that iron interfacing on your pieces most especially the facing on the front because you're going to be adding button okay iron interfacing on it i i didn't know i didn't show this part where i iron interfacing on those pieces but remember to do that okay so now that i have done arranging uh, uh making a notch and also have gone ahead to give it a very good press as you can see i have ironed it very well so right now i'm going to arrange my pieces together here so that um we can start joining them together but before you join them together okay before you join them together, make sure you iron it. Iron it so that you have a good result at the end of the day. So I'm going to start now by uh, joining my pieces, the front piece to the back pieces, okay? And the back pieces is on, on the table, right, the, the right side facing me up. So right now, I just place my front pieces, the right side facing the right side, okay? So and what I'm going to do here, I need to... Uh, I'm going to start by stitching it from the shoulder and uh, what I will do so this is my collar I'm just trying to assemble it for you to see okay or uh, unfortunately you won't see how it look until when I stitch it together so here I'm going to start now by joining my shoulder uh, my front and my back pattern together from the shoulder first so you remember the method I show you on one of my previous video and that is the same method I'm still I'm still using here okay so I'm going to be doing in in view stitching so that the even though when I turn it to the right side uh I turn it to the wrong side you will not see any rough stitching from the inside okay so that is what I'm actually doing here I'm making an in build stitching so that is what I did if you haven't seen the tutorial where I show you how to do this I'm going to leave the link on the description box so that you can go and watch it it was very detailed okay it was very detailed. I explained to you how you can uh, stitch your shoulder, join your shoulder together with an inbuilt uh, in method. So I'm struggling here to pin this down so that I can go back to my sewing machine to join it. So I have succeeded to pin one side. Uh, the same thing I did to this uh, one of the shoulder, I'm going to repeat the same method on the other shoulder okay so i'm going to get the second shoulder now or this the second front pieces now i will join it back to the okay so i have gone ahead to pin this down okay i have pinned the two shoulder together now i'm going to head back to my sewing machine so that i can join it with 0 0.5 inch allowance remember the allowance that i kept yeah so I have gone ahead to join it. As you can see, this is how it's looking like from the inside. Did you see that? You can't see any joining. So the next thing we'll do now is to join the collar to the bodice, okay? So I think I did some a little bit mistake. I, if I have known, I would have just made some this invisible stitching as well. But then again, I just went on the easiest way to show you guys. So this is the easiest way. So in my next video or my... In one of my tutorial i'm going to make a video how you make the same collar but in a different way of stitching okay 
So I'm trying to poke out this um, in the, the stitching, like, like to make it, uh, arrange it so that I can be able to join it to my body. So that is what I just did here. So the first thing I'm going to do here, so when you're going to join the collar, don't join your collar from the right side, uh, or from the, yes, from the outside to the in, inside, okay? You're going to be joining it from the wrong side. So you're going to place the right side facing the wrong side. So we are going to start this joining from the inside, outside, okay? Okay, if you don't understand it, just watch. So right now, this uh, my front pieces or my uh, uh, blouse is facing me with the wrong side, okay? And then I'm using my, my collar now, I want to start placing my, facing my collar now, or pinning my collar now, the wrong side, the right side of my collar facing the wrong side, no, the right side of my collar facing the wrong side of my bodies. So at the end of the day, you're going to have, a, the stitching is going to, uh, where the seam allowance or the stitching allowance is going to be, is going to be from the, out, uh, the outside, not the inside. So I'm going to pin this round, okay, I'm going to pin this so that I can go back to my sewing machine to join it. So I have done pin my collar to my shirt now. So the next one I will go back to my sewing machine to join it with 0 0.5 inch allowance. Okay, I will be back soon. So I have done uh, join my collar together. So this is how it's looking. And, and also I have gone ahead to uh, iron it. Okay, so as you can see, the stitching is from the, uh, from the wrong side. Okay. My collar is on the wrong side, so when you fold it, it's going to cover up the sewing allowance. So the sewing allowance is on the outside part, not the inside, okay? So, this thing I will do here, I'm going to work on my sleeves. So right now, I'm going to work on my sleeves. So I will go to my weaving machine and I will weave in the rough edges, okay? So like I said, I later reduced the width of this uh, sleeve from the sleeve opening. I reduced it because it was too wide. So I will go and um, I join, I create a channel for the middle point here so that I can create that channel for my strap, okay? So, but before I will do that, I need to uh, stop stitch the, the, the hemming part, okay? I need to stop stitch the hemming part first before I will create the channel for the uh, for the straps so as you can see I have reduced the width of the the sleeve it's no longer white like it used to it was before so right it depends how puffy or how big you want your sleeve to be at this point so I reduce mine okay so I have also gone ahead to weave the the hemming part so what I would do right here I will first of all um, uh, stop stitch the hemming part so that is why you see you see that i'm iron, uh, ironing this part so that i can i'm folding it rather i'm going to be folding it twice so that i can go to my sewing machine to join uh, to stop stitch it first before i will create a a space for the for the uh, strap okay i hope you understand this explanation i hope you're not lost in my explanation so I have also done the same thing to the second sleeve. So I will go now and join it. I will be back. So at the process of me working on it, I got to learn more about how you can go about this, making this uh, uh, blouse, you understand? So 
I have already tried, uh, I went ahead to fit one of the sleeves to see how it's going to turn out. And this is what I did so far. This is the part where we stopped. I showed that I'm going to go to the sewing machine to fold in these edges of the sleeve, right? So I have folded in the edges of the sleeve and I've also uh, uh, f um, fixed my strap inside. I fold the edges of the sleeves. I, I weave the rough edges of this part here. Okay, I weave the rough edges as you can see. And also I... I have to stop stitch on here so that I can be able to fix in my uh, strap, which you have seen so clear like this, okay? So now the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how I got to this point, okay? I'm going to show you. So I have fixed in one of the sleeves. So the remaining sleeves, I haven't done anything at all with it. So I want you to understand how it's been done, okay? I haven't fixed the sleeve yet. I haven't done anything with it. So here is the sleeves. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do to this sleeve here, I'm going to fold in like this. Okay, this is the wrong side. The part where you see so many uh, chalk on, this is the part where it's on wrong side. Okay, and when you look at it very well, from the lower part where I fold in here, you will know that this is the wrong part. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, is that i'm going to fold this into two like this okay fold from the uh, wrong side okay so i'm going to fold it like this make sure it's equal okay make sure that it's equal so i'm going to iron this part okay iron it to make sure that the crease line stay firm okay make sure you iron this part that the crease line here is going to stay firm and then afterward we'll go back to the sewing machine and i'm going to join it with 0 0.75 okay i'm going to be joining it with 0 0.75 all the way to this point okay so that is what i'm going to do so that i can create i can create um um a strap channel where my strap is going to go through all right so I have ironed it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go to my sewing machine so I can go and join it with that 0 0.75 to create a channel, okay? So I have gone ahead to join it off camera. So now I'm unpinning it to trim off this uh, thread that is on it. So this is how it's looking like, okay? So this is how it's looking like. And uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to cut this part open. So I'm going to separate it so that I can be able to uh, create the, the strapped uh, channel. So this is how it is. I'm going to go back to my sewing and my weaving machine to weave the rough edges. I will be back, okay? So I have weave it. Right now I'm ironing it. I'm trying to give it a very good press so that it can lay flat. So it won't disturb me when I'm going to go back to the sewing machine to stop stitch this part, okay? So right now, I'm going to go and stop stitch it on the both side. So I have done that now. So the next thing I will do now is to fix in my uh, strap inside, okay? So this is what I did to the first sleeves, okay? So I'm going to be fixing my strap inside just like this. So basically, this is what you're going to do. So this is the second uh, strap and then I'm just passing in now. So after fixing in my strap, I'm going to secure it so that the strap would not move out, okay? So the next thing I will do here, I will get my sleeves and um, I will place the right side facing the right side, okay? The midpoint of the sleeve to the shoulder part, that is where you're going to match them together. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to place it this way and then I will pin it, okay? Make sure you arrange it proper and then I'm going to start pinning this round so that I can go back to my sewing machine to join my sleeves. So I have done pinning this round here. So this is what I got. I will go and join it with 0 0.5 inch allowance. And afterward, at the process of joining the sleeves, I will also close down the side of my shirt. Okay, so. So I have gone ahead to join my 
my sleeves together and also I have closed down the side and uh, also I did additional uh, thing I weave the, the, the seam allowance okay I weave the seam allowance I weave uh, a interfacing no the hemming gum sorry I weave, I weave the hemming gum on the lower part and so that it can be easy for me to fold in the the hemming to, to fold in the hemming uh, allowance so that is what I'm just doing here so the first thing I'm going to start from is to hem the the lower part first okay basically um, this is the this is the whole process so the only thing that left on this uh, top to be complete now is the button so until I get to the market before I will uh, face in the button but for the meantime this is this is how far I have cut okay so if you have anywhere that you can uh, get your button face then you should do that but for for me I don't have um somewhere near and somewhere i don't have anywhere near me here to fix my button so it's going to left unfinished for now all right so i hope you enjoy watching this video i hope you learn something from this video if you do don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and uh, also help me share this video and um, yeah if you find anything confusing about this tutorial please leave your comment below I will be glad to respond back okay so what I'm actually doing here I'm trying to give it a very good price okay so that is what I will advise you to do in every outfit that you're making make sure you iron it proper okay make sure you iron it and if you're able to iron your garment you will see that you have a very clean uh, finish look at the end of the day unless if you don't have light but if you have light Make sure you iron your garment, each and every garment you're making, make sure you iron it, okay? So I have uh, done iron the whole body. So right now I'm just trying to create the lapel. So that is what I'm doing here. So if you're watching this video to this very moment, I want to say a very big thank you for watching. And if you're new to my channel and you're yet to subscribe, Make sure you subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notification, okay? So that you get notified when I will be posting another tutorial. So you will not miss out on any tutorial, basically. So, yeah, I want to say a very big thank you once again. And have a blessed day. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this from. Thank you.